वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर नीरू टंडन फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश वी एस एस जी कॉलेज कानपुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग पेपर थर्ड नाइनटीन सेंचुरी इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड इन इट दिस मॉड्यूल द साइन ऑफ फोर बाय सर आर्थर कैनन डॉयल हैज बीन रिटन बाय डॉक्टर दुष्यंत नीमावट इफ आई आस्क यू होम डू यू नो शेरलक होम्स और सर आर्थर कैनन डॉयल हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर फेमिलियर विद दीज टू नेम्स ऑफकोर्स शेरलक होम्स इज मच पॉपुलर देन हु इज द क्रिएटर and who is the creation sherlock holmes is the creation of sir arthur canon doyle creation becomes the creator's identity that is the beauty that is the main understanding how a writer becomes big by his creation in this module the students will learn about the plot outline characters themes and other aspects of detective fiction by canon doyle the sign of four is a detective fiction canon doyle was a physician by profession and his approach is scientific rational and based on keen observation he created this immortal character as sherlock holmes and dr watson sherlock holmes famous admonition to dr watson elementary my dear watson applied to all living in hectic is strive tone word an academic word as well sir arthur ignatius canon doyle was born on may 22 1859 in edinburgh while he was a medical student he was profoundly impressed by one of his professors known as dr joseph bell he became his model for his novels sherlock holmes the detective par excellence that professor had minute observation and because of this quality sir arthur made him his hero he wrote his stories novels plays and non fictional works as well doyle was also known as a keen cricketer who used to play with other writers including the young p g woodhouse In 1885 he married Louisa Hawkins a wealthy woman she provided him the financial security that enabled him to devote more time to writing which was his first love Doyle had two children by her but she died of tuberculosis in 1906 he married then his long time friend Jean Lackey the following year who gave him three more children he was awarded knighthood in 1902 and was referred as sir the creator of immortal character sherlock holmes died in 1930 doyle's fictional detective work made him so famous that he was an unofficial consultant to the english police English police detectives were required to read Sherlock Holmes stories in their police training. Doyle's portrayal of India specifically in this novel The Sign of 4 with exotic milieu was a popular conception of the people about India. India symbolized exotic, alluring and sensual appeal. We call The Sign of 4 as a detective fiction. The genesis of detective fiction lies in gothic stories. 
द क्रेडिट एज द पाइनियर ऑफ डिटेक्टिव फिक्शन गोज टू एडगर एल एन पो हु इन इज वर्क द मर्डर्स इन द रू मॉग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सी ऑगस्ट ड्यूपिन एज अ कैरेक्टर कैन एन डॉयल इंट्रोड्यूस्ड डिटेक्टिव रीजनिंग disguises sports like boxing and knowledge of forensic science and scientific temperament in the portrayal of sherlock holmes it was so famous that hundred of movies tv series radio plays stage performance of sherlock holmes stories and novels have been made many actors played the role of holmes including anthony higgins benedict Cumberbatch, Robert Downey, Jeremy Brett, and so on. This novel, *The Sign of Four*, as a genre, is a mystery fiction. It got published in 1890, and the setting is London, England. The story of the novel is set in 1888 with a plot involving service in the East India Company. the 1857 rebellion of andaman jail the plot moves around the stolen treasure and a secret pact among four convicts and two corrupt prison guards there are subtle references to racism imperialism bigotry and criminal motives involving avarice deception and excessive greed the novel was serialized in lipin courts monthly magazine as the sign of the four in 1890 and later in the same year it was published in the book form as the sign of the four the sign of four was published 2 year after sherlock holmes debut novel a study in scarlet it is a convention mystery while the sign of four is more like a gothic thriller that crosses the several genres such as detective fiction thriller and adventure story with historical reference to india the main characters of these novels are sherlock holmes the detective dr watson the friend of sherlock holmes mary morstan a beautiful woman whose father is missing she consults holmes who solves the mystery at the end and marries Dr Watson Another character is Captain Arthur Morstan he is Miss Morstan's father he was a senior captain in his regiment he was disappeared in 1878 Now the way he has created Sherlock Holmes he becomes an important fictional character he is detective he is rational has scientific approach he is witty intelligent His knowledge of chemistry and forensic science is superb. He is courageous and adventurous. He is bohemian, a smoker, and injects cocaine for stimulation and removing stress. His genuine friendship with Dr. Watson continues in books one after another. Other characters are Major Sholto, is a friend and brother, officer of Captain Arthur Morstan. Uh, another. Thaddeus Sholto is one of Major Sholto's twin sons who sent the pearls to Mary Horstan. Bartholomew Sholto is twin brother of Thaddeus and Major Sholto's son. He discovers the chest and killed by Tonga with a poison dart. Jonathan Small is one of the four men who accidentally discovered the jewels in India. Others are Mohammed Singh, Abdullah Khan and Dost Akbar. He has a wooden leg. A small is the only one of the original four that obtains freedom after their imprisonment. Now there is a conflict in the novel, and we all know that in any novel, conflict plays an important role. Conflict is of two types: internal conflict and external conflict. External conflict means when there is a tussle. or a war between two parties two men who are there but internal conflict means when there is a tussle or war between two ideas within the mind of the character 
Internal conflict is more important to develop the story. Here in this novel, Mary Morstan comes to Mr. Holmes and tells him about her missing father. Holmes solved the mystery of deaths, murders and the lost treasure and he resolves the conflict. Mood The sign of four has a humorous mood throughout. Despite serious criminal incidents, witty remarks provide comic relief. The major themes discussed in the novels are imperialism, wealth, love, crime, racism and avarice. Now let me present the summary of the sign of four chapter by chapter. Chapter 1 the sign of four takes place in 1888 in London. The novel begins with Sherlock Holmes taking drugs and trying to change his mind. Watson gives his pocket watch and asks him to find out its detail. He tells him that it belongs to Watson's brother who died due to excessive drinking. Then Mrs. Hudson enters and tells about a woman Mary Morstan who wants to meet Sherlock Holmes. Chapter 2 Miss Morstan comes and explains her case to both. Watson gets attracted towards her. She tells them about her father who was a soldier in India. At the age of 17, Mary went to London to see him but he had disappeared. Even his only friend, Major Shoto, was not aware of his return. She wants their help to find out the truth. Holmes and Watson are ready to help her. Chapter 3 Holmes tells Watson that Major Shoto is somewhere related to this matter because Mary started receiving the pulse after a week of his death. When Mary comes, she gave them a piece of paper with the layout of a building along with 3.37 from left. Written in the corner, it is signed, the sign of the four, Jonathan Small, Mohammed Singh, Abdullah Khan and Dost Akbar. Chapter 4 They meet Theodos Sholto, the son of Major Sholto. His father tells him that the Mostan and he decided to split the Agra treasure when they were in India. But after some disagreement, they separate. After years, Mostan came to house where they had fight and this caused him to have a heart attack. On his deathbed, he made his son's promise to share the treasure with Mary. But just before he shares the location, he was suddenly struck silent. After his death, Bartholomew has finally discovered the treasure, so he wants to meet Mary. Chapter 5 When they arrive on the Sholto estate, Pondicherry Lodge, they find the dead body of Bartholomew with a poisoned thorn in his neck. The treasure had been stolen. Chapter 6 Holmes and Walston investigate for some time and they find the imprints of a wooden-legged man and his partner. Thaddeus returns with a detective, Ethel Jones. He and Holmes have over their investigation. Holmes borrows a dog, Toby, for further information. Chapter 7 Watson takes Toby back to Pondicherry Lodge. There Holmes tries to find out the root of the murders on the roof. He comes down with a cigarette case full of the same thorns that killed Bartholomew. Watson allows Toby to sniff the case and he brings them eastwards through London to a barrel full of chrysotto sword because he follows wrong smell. Chapter 8 Holmes again sniffs Toby the right smell and now he brings them to the edge of the Thames where he finds that two people hired a boat. The boat owner's wife tells him that a wooden-legged man hired his boat. Holmes gives the description of the boat to Baker Street Irregulars, a group of street kids who collect information for him. Then Watson goes to sleep thinking of Mary Morstan. Holmes finally finds that Jonathan Small's companion is a native of the Andaman island Tonga whose height is less than 4 feet. Chapter 9 
Holmes informs him that his efforts fail because group of street children find no clue about the boat. For the rest of the day, they don't hear any news about the boat. The next day, Holmes tells Watson that he's going down the river. Jones comes and tells Watson that Holmes sends him a telegram to come to Bakes Street. Suddenly, an old man appears who claims that he has some information, but they recognize that it is Holmes in disguise. Chapter 10 Holmes, Watson and Jones go to the steam launch. One of the Holmes irregulars gives him a signal that Small is leaving. A small's companion, Tonga, is shot down by Holmes and Watson. However, the wooden-legged man gets stuck in the mud and is captured. They also find the treasure. Chapter 11 The wooden-legged man, Jonathan Small, explains that he had no enmity with Bartholomew. His death was just an accident. Jones takes him to the Baker Street and Watson brings the chest to Mary. When they open it, there is nothing in it. Now Watson admits his feelings for Mary. Chapter 12 At Baker Street, Jonathan Small tells that he emptied the whole treasure into the river. Now he tells his story that he was sent to India as a soldier when the Indian mutiny broke out. Then he fled to Agra. There he met Mohammed Singh and Abdullah Khan and Dost Akbar. They planned to kill the man who carried the treasure. Unable to divide the treasure, immediately the four conspirators had hidden it behind some bricks in the wall of the fort and drew up four maps and signed the sign of the four. But soon after, they found guilty and were arrested. A small was sent to a penal colony on the Andaman run by Morstan and Sholto. A small shared the secret of treasure with them, but when Sholto found the treasure, he stole it and fled for England. A small met Tongo, who was devoted to him because a small saved his life. After many years, a small found Sholto, but when he went to find the treasure, he could not find it. When he returned to the Sholto estate, Tonga had killed Bartholomew and they had stolen the treasure. A small is taken to prison and Watson proposes marry. She accepts his proposal. And the novel comes to an end. Now, when you discuss the form and structure in this novel, The Sign of the Four, you will find that detective fiction deals with mystery and its solution. It builds up tension which is resolved in the end. And again, the novel ends with the marriage bells. The novel has 12 chapters. They are all titled. The story follows the three-part plot, rising action, climax and resolution. The dialogues of other characters reveal their own point of view. Canon Doyle's language is often romantic and philosophical. Though the story is narrated by Dr. Watson in direct speech, there are dialogues that reveal the attitude and character of the speakers. Doyle uses similes, metaphors and literary allusions quoting Richer and Goethe in their original German language. Holmes' intellectual height is reflected in his vocabulary and the language he uses. Doyle also talks about drug use. It is for the first time that Canon Doyle shows Holmes using cocaine. He took it thrice a day to keep stagnation and boredom away. He used it to stimulate his mind. At the end of the novel, he tells, for me, there is still the cocaine bottle, unquote. Doyle also talks about female gender roles. Sherlock Holmes possessed Victorian attitude towards women undermining their roles. He said to Dr. Watson that women are never to be entirely trusted. Unquote. When Dr. Watson tells him that Miss Morstan handled tense situations quite stoically, Sherlock Holmes remarked that she must have been more than woman. The gender bias in Holmes is the reflection of the Victorian mindset, very well dealt by the novelist. A few quotes from the novel to give you the feel of writer's language. The emotional qualities are antagonistic to clear reasoning, said Sherlock Holmes. 
how often have i said to you that when you have eliminated the impossible whatever remains however improbable must be the truth the chief proof of man's real greatness lies in his perception of his own smallness said by canon doyle i am going to give you a feel of the novel by quoting some important paragraphs and lines from the book because you are within my reach again i said taking her hand she did not withdraw it because i love you mary as truly as ever a man loved a woman because this treasure these riches sealed my lips now that they are gone i can tell you how i love you that is why i said thank god and quote justice snare the ex convict a pretty justice whose loot is this if it is not ours where is the justice that i should give it up to those who have never earned it look how i have earned it well and there is the end of our little drama i remarked after we had sat some time smoking in silence i fear that it may be the last investigation in which i shall have the chance of studying your methods Miss Monston has done me the honor to accept me as a husband in prospective. To sum up, the sign of the four by Arthur Conan Doyle is a beautiful novel that invites you to read it from the first page to the last. References to India and the friendship between sherlock home and watson the relationship of watson and the lady the finding of the riches the chance everything everything that is required is there it's an interesting novel written beautifully right use of word right choice of language so go through it and enjoy thanks for visiting EPG पाठशाला